Hi there. I just want to show you some things about electrical circuits. I would like to show you something called series and parallel circuits and also what things affect it and hopefully we'll get a chance to start measuring some current as well. So first of all I've got a basic circuit. I've got a power pack set to 12 volts and I've got a bulb. Nice and warm. Electricity flows in a circle. It's going in a circle from one to the next all the way around and back to the bulb again. And as you can see, it's quite bright. I can turn it down, I can turn down the voltage, and guess what? It gets dimmer. No surprise there. Turn it up again. Back we go. Nice and bright. Now then, I'm going to put two bulbs in. Just have a think to yourself, what's going to happen to the brightness if I put two bulbs in? Right, so I've got two bulbs. It's still just going in one circle all the way around through this bulb, through that bulb, and back to the battery again. Sorted. So what will happen to the brightness? Give it a little wiggle. There we go. Something a little bit dodgy there. Uh, but it's definitely got dimmer. Each bulb has got dimmer. It's like the energy is being shared equally between the two of them. Now, what will it be like with three? Okay. Three bulbs. Three bulbs now in a circuit going right round and this is what we call a series circuit. A series circuit has just one way to go and it goes all the way through and round and back. What happens? Gets dimmer. You could have predicted it. Right, four of them, but you can't predict it. Oh look, you can just about see them. I don't know if you can make them out on this camera, but they are just about lit. So the more bulbs you add in a series circuit, the weaker the current and the less bright they get. There's just less and less of it. There is the same amount of energy flowing, same amount of energy, but it's being shared between all the bulbs and they look a whole lot dimmer. The next thing I'd like to show you is a different sort of circuit called a parallel circuit. Let's have a look at one of those. Okay, I'm back to my bright light. One bulb, 12 volts, and a series circuit that goes round in a circle and back to the power pack. I now want to do what's called a parallel circuit and a parallel circuit is where you give the, the electricity options. You give it a choice of ways to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly turn it off and I'm going to plug it in here and here. I've got two bulbs. Now if you can follow this there's one route here and then it can split up. It can either go through the first bulb or it can go through the second bulb. And then they join up again and they go back to the battery. Essentially, there's two ways to go. It can go through one bulb or the other. What's going to happen to the brightness? Well, it's still pretty bright. I'd say that's just the same as it was in the first place, which is weird. By giving it two routes to go, the brightness doesn't change. The current through each bulb is just the same. That's a bit strange. What if I did three of them? Let's have a look. Three of them. Three of them. Wow. Brightness not changing. When it's parallel, not changing. What about four? Four bulbs. Still the brightness not changing. It's just going mad for it. Whoa, look at that. Six bulbs now. Six bulbs, no change. As long as you're giving them a different route to go through, they go, and there's the bell. We're not stopping now. Right. What about, nah, nah, nah. We can't do another bulb. Surely not. Surely not another bulb. Wow. Got another one. Another bulb there. And that's what it looks like from above. Can you see? Each time. There's another way to go. It can go along here. It's got a choice. It can either go through the bulb or it can go on to the next one. Where it can go through the bulb or it can go along to the next one. Through the bulb or, and all the way around. And that's called in parallel. And I'll show you something else. This is much like being in a house. If I unscrew one bulb, what happens to the rest? Unscrew one bulb, the rest stay on. Unscrew another bulb. The rest stay on. They go off. Everything else stays on. And that's what happens in a parallel circuit.
Now, I'd like to show you. I'd like to show you uh, what it's like with a, a, an ammeter connected to it. This is an ammeter, and it measures the current. I'm going to turn the light back on. Right, here you can see I've got an ammeter connected into the circuit and that tells us how much current is flowing. We've got a series circuit. I've got one wire, goes through the bulb, through the ammeter. You must connect ammeters in series. And it goes through these wires and I've got two joined together, but it is just one wire really going straight back. And the current there is 0.17. Let's put another, let's put another bulb in there. Right, now I've got two bulbs, let's see. Well, we know it's going to get dimmer, aren't they? We know that in a series circuit, they get dimmer. In a series circuit, they have got dimmer. They're not as bright as they were And can you see, the current has gone down. It's now 0.1, 0.11, something like that. And something else, if I turn, if I unscrew one bulb, unscrew one bulb, can you see they both go off? In series circuit, as soon as you turn one bulb off, they both go off. And you can see that current is going down. Okay, three bulbs in series. I'm expecting this to go down, be less than 0.1. I am right, it's 0.08, it has gone down. And you can see these bulbs have got dimmer. There's just one route to go through. This is a series circuit through there. It goes through there, through the ammeter. That way, this is just a circle, really. Just a circle, and the more you add, the less the current gets. And like I said, turn it off, they all go off. They all go off together. That's in series. Remember, we'll have a look now at uh, the parallel and just remember how that went. When we added more of them, when we added more bulbs into, into parallel circuits, remember they didn't get dimmer. What do you think is gonna to happen to the current as we add more bulbs in series? Sorry, parallel. Parallel, we're gonna add it in parallel. Okay, so I've got my parallel circuit. The current can come down here, and it can either go into this wire and down to the next bulb, or it can just go straight through that one there, and it comes home or it down this one. It's got the choice of ways to go. Now, what I want to do is I want to measure it in different places, really, and I want to see what it is. I want to see what it is here before the first bulb, and I also want to see what it is here before the second bulb. I'm just going to have a look at these and see what they come to be. Okay, so this is the same circuit really, it's the same circuit, it's the two bulbs in parallel with each other, and if we turn them on, we can see it's there. Now, it does look a bit harder to follow now, because we've got a few bits, but if we look carefully, here is one wire, goes to the ammeter. From the ammeter, it goes to the first bulb. And it can either go through that first bulb and back, or it can go through the ammeter to this first bulb and then carry on down to the second bulb and back again. Now the current there is 0.32. Now that's more than we had the first time. If you remember back to the first uh, series circuit with one bulb and two bulbs, that's much more. There's already more flowing. What would it be if I were to measure in here? Give me a second and I'm just going to measure what's in there. What do you reckon it will be? 0.32 here before the first bulb what will it be just for the second bulb? Okay, let's have a look. It's still the same circuit, but I've taken it away from this first, before the first bulb. Oop, bit dodgy there. And I've put it here after the first bulb, but before the second bulb. Can you see? The current is now 0.16, not roughly 0.16. That's, and remember, before it's 0.32. So it's halved. Now that's not to be surprising, that's not surprising at all, because that says 0.32 is coming along here, then 0.16 is going through this bulb, and then a further 0.16 is going through this ammeter. So it's basically showing that the current has split in two. When you've got a parallel circuit, the bulbs don't get dimmer, one doesn't affect the second one, they don't affect each other. When I this dodgy bulb here, turn that one off, the other one stays on, no change. And you're giving it different routes to go through. You're giving it one route there, one route there. 
it can split up. Okay, 